Greetings brothers and sisters, my name is Linda and my channel is called Simple Help Now. I wanted to share with you some thoughts to encourage you before the catching away of the bride, the rapture of the church. Before I start, I want to say that Jesus is my Lord and Savior. He came in the flesh, died on a cross for your sins and for mine, and rose again after three days for our salvation. I wanted to share a little story first and then the word that the Lord gave me. These last few days, I've been absent from YouTube because I was celebrating a family member's birthday. And for her birthday, she wanted to go skydiving. I went to watch this event and was excited to see her great adventure. Her, my eyes were on the plane as it rose in the air and I knew she was safe and in experienced instructor's hands, but I still felt watchful. My eyes were riveted on the plane as it flew. And then she jumped. My sight was fixed on that tiny dot high in the sky and the skydiver as she plummeted toward the earth. I saw her parachute open and her tiny figure spinning up in the sky. Though I was looking from a great distance, I could see her coming. She flew and within minutes, she was visible. Her descent took only a few moments and then she landed. She was with us again and we were able to give her a hug. The rapture is somewhat like that. We know it's coming because we can see events as if the plane were already up in the sky. The rapture is on the way. We know that he is not visible yet to our eyes, but we will see him soon. He will come through the clouds and we will watch as he comes for us. We have our eyes securely fixed on that moment in anticipation. Jesus is going to be visible for those who are called home. We are to watch fixed on him. I want to share a word with you that the Lord put on my heart to give you encouragement. We all need to watch with anticipation and joy. Please feel free to test all words. Here's what I felt he said. My children, my rescue is about to come and I will deliver you. The very hairs of your head are all numbered and I know every thought that comes into your minds. You are fully known and fully loved. You can see me, You, when you see me face to face, you will be aware and absorbed into the deep love I have for you. I am coming for a bride who loves and adores her first love, and she will be received by my sacrifice. As you walk out these final moments, don't let distractions keep you from my presence. My life is joined to yours. Come to the hidden secret place of your first love. Just believe. My children, let the world and its evil systems go. Keep on the high road and keep focused. There are some of you who don't believe that I will come for them. They feel they will be made pure by enduring the great tribulation. Don't be foolish, my children. You have no idea what the intensity of judgments that are coming on the world. You cannot survive without my help. Realize that my blood is the purifying factor. I purified my bride with my own blood. You cannot add to that work. The work you have is to believe me. Your bridegroom calls you to watch. Many are also waiting to see what will happen before they make that decision to believe. Don't, be, don't wait to decide. Be awake and watch. I love you, my children. I love you more than you can ever know. And that's what I felt he said. So just be encouraged. Although we can't see him yet, he is coming through the clouds with power to rescue us. We know he is coming. He wants us to fully trust him in his blood shed on the cross and not on our own thoughts about how to become a pure bride. His blood has made us pure and spotless. Don't try to imagine going through the great tribulation to make yourself more pure and more ready. The work is done. Just trust him and get into that first love relationship. Also, don't wait to cross the line into safety until you see things. Yeshua is calling you to become part of his family while there is still time. He loves you. Thank you for listening. 
This is Linda from Simple Help Now.